In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to new life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family, O Lord, schooled always in good works, and so comfort them with your protection here as to lead them graciously to gifts on high through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The people of Judah and the citizens of Jerusalem said, Come, let us contrive a plot against Jeremiah. It will not mean the loss of instruction from the priests, nor of counsel from the wise, nor of messages from the prophets. And so let us destroy him by his own tongue. Let us carefully note his every word. Heed me, O Lord, and listen to what my adversaries say. Must good be repaid with evil, that they should dig a pit to take my life? Remember that I stood before you to speak in their behalf, to turn away your wrath from them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will free me from the snare they set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. I hear the whispers of the crowd that frighten me from every side as they consult together against me, plotting to take my life. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. In your hands is my destiny. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and from my persecutors. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. The verse before the gospel. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to the Lord. As Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples aside by themselves and said to them on the way, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes and they will condemn him to death and hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and scourged and crucified, and he will be raised on the last day. Then the mothers of the sons of Zebedee approached Jesus with her sons, did him homage, and wished to ask him for something. He said to her, what do you wish? 
She answered him, Command that these two sons of mine sit, one at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. Jesus said in reply, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the chalice that I am going to drink? They said to him, We can. He replied, My chalice you will indeed drink, but to sit at my right and at my left, this is not mine to give, but is for those for whom it has been prepared by my father. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and the great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. I believe it was 11 years ago that Pope Francis became Pope. And just a few days after he became Pope, he surprised not just the world, the the public, but also his Secretary of State and advisors because he did something on his own initiative. He rented a helicopter and made arrangements for this helicopter to bring him to a little island in the Mediterranean Sea called Lampedusa. And there he greeted people who had been uh, washed up on shore. Some of them had died, and he prayed for them, but also for the people who had survived. He offered a mass just to pray for their their good, for their salvation, and for their rescue, and so that they have a, a future, you know, because their future seemed pretty bleak at that point. And I remember thinking to myself, well, this was really a surprise, you know, for a new pope to do something like this and to do so on his own initiative. And these people were not Europeans. They were all from Northern Africa or from, you know, the Arab world. Most of these were from uh, Northern Africa. And they were not Christians either. They, They were not Catholics, but they were not Christians of any kind. They were, if any religion, uh, Muslims or the different animus religions of Africa They were not Christians. Maybe a few of them were, but I don't think any of them were. But still, Pope Francis said that this is how I want my pontificate to begin, by serving people, you know, that that have nothing to gain from me. And they're not Christians. And they're, they're human beings, though, human beings. And to set an example for all of us of the care and the solicitude that we have to have for people in our own world, in our own community, who are not like us at all, except for the fact that they are human beings. I say that in light of today's gospel because Jesus talks about his own mission as he approaches Jerusalem and his destiny to be arrested, put on trial, tortured, crucified, and then finally die on the cross, be buried, and then rise on the third day. And it's as if the mother of the sons of Zebedee had not been paying attention to, all, to any of what Jesus said. She said, well, you know, when you get to the top, when you get to your, you know, where you aim to be, make sure my two boys sit one at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. And Jesus, you know, was a little dismayed. And, but he talks about leadership and servants, uh, servant leadership especially, that in the Gentile world, this time it was led by the Romans and very brutally uh, exercised rule over peoples all over the Mediterranean world. You know, he said they, they lord it over them. They, they make their authority over other people known and felt. It cannot be that way with you. Whoever wants to be greatest among you must serve the least. And uh, that's kind of the standard for us. And the season of Lent is a good time for us just to consider 
the ways we can exercise servant leadership ourselves by setting a good example to our kids in the same way that Pope Francis sets an example for us in his visit to Lampedusa and many times elsewhere, especially doing things that make people, you know, draw back and wonder and, you know, kind of shake their head because they're confused in the same way that the mother of the sons of Zebedee obviously wasn't getting it. You know, there's a lot of people who do not understand this whole concept of servant leadership and the tie that this kind of leadership has to the crucifixion of Jesus. That's what today's gospel is all about. We just pray that we who have been signed with the cross at the beginning of the season of Lent, who proceed through the season of Lent to our celebration of the saving death and resurrection of Christ, may draw close to Christ crucified and to be observant in the world around us, sometimes close, many times far away, of people you know, that exemplify for us opportunities for exercising servant leadership and bearing witness to the love of Jesus Christ crucified. In the name of our crucified Lord and Savior, we offer our prayers. For the church, may God use this season of Lent to foster in us a greater commitment to living as disciples of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the world, may the Lord bring forth compassionate people willing to assume elected and appointed leadership positions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For those oppressed by any evil in the world, may Christ bring about justice and sources of healing for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For this worship community, may the Lord help us grow in humility by serving others in the name of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For all who have died, May they live eternally in the light of heavenly glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, holy marriage, permanent diaconate, and single life, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those in public office, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect all life from conception to natural death, we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those remembered in our prayer petition thank you book, that through God's everlasting love, they will receive the help they need, we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for the deceased, uh, Michael O'Connell, for whom this mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. One short announcement. Friday, not Saturday, Friday there will be no confessions. So those of you who are planning to do that, you have to make other arrangements. Thank you. Oh God, hear the prayers we offer to you on this day and deepen the life of your son Jesus in our hearts so that we may take up the cross and follow Jesus faithfully, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy 
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord our God, that what you have given us as the pledge of immortality may work for our eternal salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Peter God.